Really? I have to kill more time? Yes, please. Okay, well, you're going to have to help me with this one, Lindworm, because I know you're not doing anything productive. Hi, everyone. Uh, Nick, what are you going to do in the next, let's say, 10 minutes? I think you would be the first perfect contestant for the show. Guys, if you want Nick here, say Nick, 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 Nick. It's, you see, they love you. It's, it's better than dancing, so I'll do it. I'll, I'll do it, I'll do it. What do I, what do I, have, what do I have to do? All right, yeah, good you ask. Um, who of you has seen uh, another Panda News game show lately? I mean, this is the third show this year. Um, the principle is we ask some question, more or less something like you would have read somewhere on Slashdot or whatsoever, and we offer four answers, and you have to choose one of them. The first one who is ready to answer, push the button, we have brand new buses here. They are connected over a gigabit Ethernet cable, something it else. Toti totally awesome. It's, they work totally awesome. Something else doesn't work at all. Amazing. Um, and to help you, we actually have... Oh, by the way, is this mic working now? Test, test, test. OK. So it's actually the first time that we're testing the microphones. And we have those very tiny microphones. So, and we have those new buzzers. And uh, did you tell the audience already about the participation possibilities? No, oh, I was just about to start. Um, who of you has an ERC client ready? Really, not many, many folks okay. of you have seen the show before. Um, what you need is go to erc.hackend.org and join Penta News. And if you watch the stream, um, the .org address does not work. It only works from the inside of the Congress network. So, but actually, it's the same IRC network. So, from external uh, internet connections, go to uh, hackend.eu and not .org. Right. From external, go to uh, erc.hackend.eu. Same channel, Penta News. And there you will be able to support the contestants in solving their questions. And, oh yeah, or, or not, that's, that's right. <laughs> well, we hope you do. And uh, the other thing you're going to need is a web browser. And maybe you want to uh, type into your URL bar spaceboys.net on port <laughs> 2342 <laughs> already. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. So I, 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 I think we are going to introduce all the different jokers that we offer a little bit later. But this time, maybe oh. to give you a little bit uh, more joke time, um, we have something prepared where you can upload some images. So it would be great if you prepare some images already on your disk and you will be able to contribute them and display them here to support. Of course, it's always for the support of the participants, right? Yeah, Nothing. so if they are related somehow to the question, that would be helpful. And since the oldest thing we have here on stage are those slides, the URL is nadab.spaceboys.net. Like the... Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Changed again. It's nadab.c3d2.de. But later on, we, we will show you that to you in the question. I repeat that, made up like the voting machine, dot c3d2.de. <laughs> Is it HTTP or yeah, HTTPS? It's HTTP. HTTP or HTTPS? HTTP. HTTP. Of course. So. Right. Okay, who is ready to start the actual game show? I th yeah, I, say, I, I, I think the, the vibe is missing, yeah. That's, that's what I want to hear. So, who, who wants to be ready um, to be the first contestant next to Nick Farr? Make Bug I mean, Blue to, do it. There is Bug Blue who is uh, disallowed because he took part in the last, last time. 
And you won the okay, last Okay, don't time. make Bug Blue do it then. So maybe we take the first? Yeah, sure. Okay, so I mean, please join us on the stage, you two. Yeah, we should uh, mention the prizes, shouldn't we? Um, do we do it later or I don't know? We can, of course. Why well, can't support the decision to come here? Ah. The main prize will be a historical archive of user-friendly printed that is printed out <laughs> from 97 to 2002. Ooh. So, and of course, we also offer each contestant a special edition of homebrewed Zickzack Mate from Dresden, Saxony, Germany. You may know that from the Hacker Browser uh, blog. Sorry? Well, people may know that from the Hacker Browser blog. Uh, yeah, if you're, if you're German, there's the Hacker Browser. That is something you cannot buy in a shop. Do, right? we, do we hand the matter out while gaming? Or do they have to taste sure, afterwards? Sure, sure. So let's see how. OK, so we the hand them out directly. Behave, yeah. Perfect. So. Does anybody have a bottle opener by chance? What do you need? OK, hey, uh, but yeah, perfect. Uh, I already oh, have a knife here. Join us on stage. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Please, please, and there was a second. Please come you were the second participant. Come on. Perfect. So here's the bottle opener. OK. So um, while our computer oh, please, manager, please John, will fix the the players, we will introduce uh, to you all the different kinds of jokers that we offer. And I can't even remember all the different jokers that we offer to support our uh, participants here. But do you remember all of them? Well, we still have the Wikipedia joker, which means 50% uh, of the answers disappear, like all the pages irrelevant. in the Wikipedia. We have the NetApp joker, which is dedicated to this famous voting machine where, where you actually can, can vote on the answer. And that, have, is, that yeah. is shown here real time. We have the IRC Joker, where you can join the IRC channel we just mentioned and provide useful information to the participants. It will be displayed on the screen live. It's a little different this year, you will see. Um, what else do we have? We have I, the so-called Gift Joker. Yeah, the Joker where you can upload all your favorite helpful images. <laughs> And shall, shall we mention the special thing with the image upload? No, not yet. No. OK. What else do we have? Ah, we have this, this it's in German called Morse Joker, but the English word is different. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can anybody look up what Morse in English uh, means? Is it Morse code? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's Morse oh, code. OK, sorry. So. Those, those buses over the gigabit link, they can morse, actually. Yeah, the yeah. they have built-in lights, so all the contestants that can, are able to read Morse code can decipher the, uh, the answer. Yeah, we just plainly have to read them from the device. Uh, were all the jokers mentioned, Astro? How you didn't even pay attention? Did we all mention all joker? Yeah, okay. probably you did. And if we forgot something, we will explain them on the, on the fly. So, ah, didn't you fix up the players yet? No, so, no, we do that. OK, can you please tell the name? Hi. Hello? <laughs> Is the microphone working? Yes. Please tell the audience your name. Hi, I'm SkyT. SkyT, where are you from? The internet. SkyT from the internet. <laughs> I always wondered where that is. Skyti, is it the first time for you to participate on the Congress? <laughs> come on, come on. No, it's not. It's not the first time, OK. Do you guys remember the crazy Telex 
steam powered teletype contraption? No. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Bugblow, can you please shut up? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, the next contestant should be famous already. Nick Farr. Nick, Nick, what is your name? Um. <laughs> and actually, where are you from? Uh, hi, I'm Nick Farr. I'm from. This is actually a difficult question because my house is in Washington, D.C., but all of my clients are in New York. And when I was in Vienna doing an artist residency, they said, oh, just say you're from New York. So I'll just say I'm from New York. It's, it's more fancy. Yeah. It's a much dirtier city, but it's much fancier. Okay. Thank you. Is it your first Congress? <laughs> <laughs> If I tried to say yes, would you let me get away with it? <laughs> well, then I would ask, what made you come here for the first time? <laughs> yeah, hackers on a plane. Okay. That sounds good. Thank, thank you. Th <laughs> Who is the third contestant? Hi, I'm Bobson. Robson. Hello, Robson. Where are you from? Uh, Bulgaria. Bulgaria. Oh, very nice. Oh. Very international round. <laughs> he displays the rocket to, to show the direct spelling of the name. My nickname, yes. Yes. Is it your first, first congress? My first congress, yes. Okay, and what made you come here? Excuse me? What, what made you come here? What was interesting for you to, to uh, do such a trip? Because of all the fun you guys were having in, over the past years, I've been watching the streams and I wanted to take part of it. And until now, was it worth it? What? Was, was it worth it to come here? So far. Okay, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe, maybe yeah, you will... Yeah, that will change. You will win the uh, main prize. Nick, how is the mate? Oh, it's actually very, very tasty. I like it. Okay, so maybe for you also the possibility to win such a famous zigzag mate. Shall we begin? Yes, of course. All so, right, so I would say we dive into the first question, right? First question, right. So this is uh, actually the overview of the participants, their points, the different jokers that they still have. Ah, then we forgot to mention the shift, shift joker, which is the arrow, where the participants are able to shift the um, question to another participant. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that, so was, that was the test. So, all right, the first question, please. So, in our game show, you all have to read the news, or you have, need to have read the news during all over the year to be the big winner. So, the first question is, who controls American drones in Afghanistan, at least part-time? If you read the news carefully, you would be know. Was it Iran Army, the NSA, Chinese hacker, or viruses? And Bobson already pushed the button, which you can see by the LED flashing. Yeah, and it's written there, and you have a uh, little more than 70 seconds left to answer. You also can choose a uh, joker if you're not sure. Iran Army. Iran Army. Are you sure of, of this answer? Where did you read it? Uh. Where did you read it? OK. Somewhere in the internet. Might be true, probably. <laughs> And the question is the drones in Afghanistan. So it's not in Iran, it's kind of a different country. <laughs> the, the one that is not in war with the US. So right sometimes now. We, we give some hints to. Uh, yeah, <laughs> which may give you some idea maybe to try out one of the jokers. It's kind of the 50 50, the Wikipedia joker. You can ask the Irk. Nah, uh, asking the Irk is maybe. You, you stick to that question. 
Okay, he sticks to that question. Please, computer brain, lock in this answer. No, oh. actually, it was the viruses. And here you see a picture of what happens to kids on the ground when they are hit by one of those things. Yeah, yeah, a bit depressing, right? So the next question deals uh, with some news that happened in March this year. And we wanted to know whether you can still remember some of the facts that everybody used to know in March and maybe now has already forgotten again. Uh, so what is the lethal amount or the lethal dose of radioactivity that causes death within 100% of certainty or probability uh, within 40 days after exposition? And to the German guys, as far as I know, the English-speaking community is counting in gray, which equals one sievert. So did I, anybody already press? No, nobody remembers. Is it six milligray, 600 milligray, six gray, yep. or 600 gray? Nick pressed. I'm pretty sure that somebody in the audience knows the answer and is totally going to hook me up with it. <laughs> right? <laughs> So I, I, can I can I do that? <laughs> sure, you can you try can, the you can have the Nadab Joker so people can vote for the answers. You can have the Erk Joker so they can give you an answer and you can read it here. Um, other things with audience involvement. No, you can let it more. I, to you. I think I think I'd like to put it to a vote if that's which one. Can I use the Joker where I put it to an audience vote? I yeah, didn't get it. Sure. Yeah. It's a NADAP joker. The NADAP joker, please. So start your browsers. You have about. You, yeah, you point your web browser to nadap.c3d2de port 2342, and there I can vote. So. I'm not really getting conclusive results here. Answer C seems to be um, winning right now. OK. Penta News. So, I guess I'm going to have to go with uh, six grays then, greater than six grays. And I hope the audience isn't trying to throw me off here because it's. So, in, in television, the audience is right most of the time. Yeah. Here, we don't know so much. <laughs> but here, it is right. Okay. Yeah, and here is so the, luckily. Uh, that looks like them. Maybe, maybe it's some kind of. Preferences that the audience have with some participants? No. Yeah, well. OK, that's also a, a kind of uh, depressing picture. What can happen if a nuclear power plant explodes? Yeah, so the next question is about uh, the town we come from. Actually, today we already had two talks about uh, Saxony and the use of surveillance there and stuff. So the next question is about the famous state trojan that was revealed by the CCC this year. And the question is why the federal state of Saxony, where we are from, did not use this uh, governmental trojan horse. So they were technically not capable of doing so. They didn't like the idea at all. The license was too expensive, <laughs> or there was no crime at all that would have justified to the authorities that this tool should be used. And Nick already pressed, as far as I can see. So Nick, what is your guess? I mean, it's, it's kind of special German news. Do you read yeah. the German newspaper? On occasion. I'm, I'm just going to, uh, you know, I'm up, so I've got some points. I can afford to lose some things. I'm just going to say technically not capable of doing so. <laughs> You, because you, it's the funniest answer. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, shall, shall we press him a little or just ask the computer brain? Well, I think it was a good guess, so. OK, maybe it's a good guess. Let's ask the computer brain. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That is right. They actually, they actually tried it in three cases. In the first case, uh, they caught the guy before they had a chance to install it. And then two other occasions, they really failed to install it. 
and on the target. We, we forgot to mention something. Um, we also made some effort to um, find all the, the sources of the questions that we are asking. And as oh. far as I know, they are published live after the questions have been sold on uh, the Twitter account. It's called Penta Radio. Yeah. P E N T A R A I D O. Wait, <laughs> Penta no. and Radio. Oh, that was wrong. <laughs> Should be. <laughs> but you, you know. <laughs> right, because we didn't mention that. Uh, where, well, the source for all this news we got it here over the year is from our radio show we do locally in, in Dresden. So you can check the, the sources there, and if something interests you, just follow the links. But you should also concentrate a little bit on the game, too. Yeah, and, yeah. and after this show is over, on the uh, web server of our uh, local CCC group, we also will publish all the questions with the links to the answers. So you can look it up and well, find out about all those things. OK, now a question a little bit more internationally related. Please display the question. Which of the following organizations has not yet been blocked by PalPal? Pal? Was it WikiLeaks? Wow. Crypto. Diaspora. Or was it the Ku Klux Klan? And Nick already pressed. He seems to know. Uh, I'm, I'm almost positive it's the Ku Klux Klan. OK. Well, you want to use one of the jokers? I mean, just to offer? <laughs> Maybe we no, use the, I, I'm, the I'm actually, I, I'm, I'm actually pretty sure it's the Ku Klux Klan. OK, but you could use the gift joker just for fun. I mean, <laughs> up to now. I, I, I guess they really want me to use the gift joker, so I'm going to do yeah, that. Yeah, go for it. Yeah. Probably you won't need it later. So you go to uh, same URL, uh, nadap.c3d2de on port 2342. And then you are able to upload all the gifts that you have. <laughs> <laughs> so first one. <laughs> One. So, and please now Third explain one. also how can these images support? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, guys. That's kind of what wait, we were wait. expecting here. Are, 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 <laughs> are you telling me this is actually supposed to benefit me in some way? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it has some secret message in it. I think so. No, probably they knew that you already were right, so they didn't have to help you anymore. But the next time, please promise to actually support. <laughs> yeah, I think it was pretty supportive. We did not provide this kind of joker just for fun. <laughs> I mean, we're German, it's a serious game, please. So the next question is something this princess in the Paris tunnel was fighting against already. Skite, you should hurry up a little bit. Bobson as well. So which of the following countries voted against loosening restrictions of cluster munition at the UN? Nick is very fast. Yeah, uh, Israel. Seems to be your game. So no, no, no. It is Israel, not Austria. <laughs> no, Israel. Yeah, Israel. Israel. Yes. So we yes, have Austria, correct. we have our like, home country, which is number third now in exporting weapons to the world. We have Israel and Pakistan. And you think Israel is against Klasia munition? Oh, wait. Yeah, that's oh. against. Voted against, oh, against the loosening of restrictions. Yeah, yeah, against the loosening, oh, right. whoops. Yeah. Oh, crap. Uh, then I'm going to go. Um, uh. You know, we try to confuse people with those yeah, questions. Yeah, I know. Maybe thank, it's thank Israel. For, I, I haven't, I, I got sleep on a bus last night, so I'm not really, uh, sometimes, uh, in that case, I'm going to have to go with Austria. Well, well. you change to Austria, it's possible. Actually, please. no, given the grunts from the audience, I'm going to change to Germany. <laughs> 
You have 15 seconds left. No, no, ger ger let, let me go with Germany. 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 That, that, that one. Okay. Final decision. Four, Wait. three, two, one, and... Oh. oh. It's very close. <laughs> <laughs> who remembers who we see here? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the king of the internet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now. Oh, wow. To be honest, this is our true hero, huh? Okay, it was Austria, and Ju Germany was pro loosening class ammunition because we want to support our weapon industries. Yeah. Wow. Sure. So the next question is about uh, some law France introduced last year, and we want to look how it worked out. So how many first notifications have been sent during the first 12 months of the French three strikes law, Hadopi? Well, since it has been active. 600,000? 60,000? 60. 60. Uh, sorry, Sky T. Yeah, as far as I know, that was uh, 600,000. 600,000 first notifications. And actually, I for forgot the right answer, so I cannot even give you a hint. We also have 6, six million. We have 60,000. And we have 6,000. So something no, the with six. first notifications were, as far as I know, 600,000, yeah. And you are sure not to use the IRC joker? Ah, hey, you are using a mobile... Uh, yeah, there is beautiful ASCII art on the IRC. It's totally useless. Uh, no, no, th this is... Sorry, this is not fair. Please put away the, the, the cheating, cheating device. No, it's a, but, but it's a bottle opener. <laughs> no. <laughs> Come on. Fair gaming would be nice. Okay, so is it about 600,000? Is it your final answer? The answer is final, yeah. Uh, yes, the answer is final. And it was and right. right. Perfect. How many points for this question? 93. Okay, we gave the points for each question by random. So... <laughs> Yeah, actually, it's quite a tricky thing to do to find the right uh, numbers there to give points because in previous games, people were waiting for the last questions. So we tried something new here. Okay, so next question deals with... Ah, something nice. What do you see on this picture? It's a reconstructed picture from brain activity, so they reconstructed from outside. It's automatic blurring filter result for child porn filters. It's a Photoshop picture of the anonymous movement leader <laughs> or a picture taken with the first digital camera. And Skyty already pushed the button. So what's your answer? What does your phone say? I, I believe that is a reconstructed picture from brain activity. And you're sure that you do not want to use some kind of all the jokers that we offer. You know, the audience, they love them. Buck Blow just kindly asked for the image joker. Image joker, okay. Gift joker. So maybe now it's time to send the... 40 seconds you have. The king of the internet, yes! <laughs> yeah, also shows some brain activity. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> okay. Have we had any lol One yet? second left. Yeah, the answer so. is right. <laughs> so Skydy was right, and he's leading. He's in leading position. We have Nick on the second place, and Bobson, you should hurry a little bit. There are two questions left. 
Yeah, so the next question is about some web page that went down in August this year, and it kind of struggled a little to come back up online. I think it's quite famous over here. So the question is, how long did it take uh, to bring up kernel.org back online after they found out, actually, that it has been hacked in August this year? Was it one week? Is it still not up? <laughs> <laughs> no, but Four weeks. <laughs> Or two weeks. Nick, you can. Nick. If, if you are not did, did sure. Did you see that? Yes, I saw it. <laughs> Just a hint, you, you, you can use the shift joker to shift yeah, back. Yeah, you can shift the answer back to him. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to shift it back to Sky Team. Yeah. But, but there was a three headed monkey behind him. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> can shift it on. No, no, shift it back to me, then I'm going to use the IRC joker. <laughs> there are 70 Do you still have the left. gift joker? <laughs> what? Bobson has. Do you still have the gift joker? Yes, you can yes, see the, all the jokers uh, in, the, in the top. Uh, I would like to shift to him. <laughs> <laughs> please shift to Bobson. And please, Bobson, take the gift joker. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll take the gift. I'll take the gift joker. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. There you go, guys. So the next round to be Let's true see. will only consist of uh, gift jokers. <laughs> <laughs> but Bobson, unfortunately, unfortunately, you have to also give the answer as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why so much? That took a long time. I'll say four weeks. That took a long time. I'll go for four weeks. OK, and are you sure with this answer? No, I'm just guessing. OK. <laughs> you still have the yeah, shift actually, joker. You can, can shift you can back shift to, to back somebody else. To, to whomever you want to, so if you're not sure. But I mean, you're in the, in the last position. I don't know whether it matters no. to lose even yeah, more points. I'll, I'll stick to four weeks for now. He sticks to four weeks. Okay. All right. I think it's fair. Perfect. And that's actually right. Thank you. For this round, we have two more questions left. We don't even know whether it's possible to change something in the order of, uh, of positions. So the next question is about something. Uh, it kind of was uh, supported by events like this quite a lot. Um, and now cities actually start to support it too. So which of the following cities is helping to create 100 new hacker spaces? Well, in itself, in the, in the city itself. Nick seems to know. Was it Berlin? Was it Seoul? Was it Shanghai or Buenos Aires? I, I know the answer to this question, but I want to use the IRC joker. Great. Okay. Wow. For, for the lulz, huh? For the lulz. So from the outside, go to erg.hackend.eu. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think we have to work on this regex a little. <laughs> I, I think they're actually going for over 9,000 penises. <laughs> but Nick, in the meantime, you should log in. Oh, oh, right. Yeah, Sh so. Shanghai, Shanghai. No, nope, nope. Shanghai. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, we can do this. Over nine thousand penises. IRC, I believe in you. <laughs> 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 okay. Who can see how much time is left? <laughs> At twenty, 20 seconds. seconds. Okay, come on. Twenty more seconds of penis and vagina, please. <laughs> And nobody's even making a half attempt to answer the question. <laughs> <laughs> How low can you go? <laughs> Very good. Yeah, that's right. Actually, uh, the first okay. show this year uh, didn't have any internet. So on the Easter hack, we also had the ISC Joker, but it was played by the people. So someone was standing up and shouting, penis, penis. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Uh, j just a suggestion for, for next year's round. I think that you should actually have a counter to see if IRC can actually produce over 9,000 penises for the <laughs> IRC Joker. <laughs> okay, that's a good idea. Okay, actually. Okay, let's come to the last question. For this round. Which of the following terms does not autocomplete anymore in Google search since January 2011? Sky T, was it torrent, was it MPAA, RIAA, or do no evil? Evil. Evil. Or was it don't be evil? What jokers do I have? You still have the... Uh, the IRC Joker, IRC yeah. Joker. Maybe that would be a bad choice. You have the NetApp Joker as well. You have the Wikipedia Joker. And you have the Morse Joker, which is also nice to see once, at least. Yeah. But we have two more rounds, so... Did, did you have to use the IRC Joker? IRC Joker? Uh, uh, the Morse Joker. <laughs> Take all the jokers. Pay um, attention. I would like it's, to it's use the NetApp Joker. Please. So, please, audience, help. <laughs> this is the totally 100% secure electronic voting machine. We um, paid huge amount of euros to buy from NetApp this secure technology just to offer you the possibility to take part here. Yeah. So six, six, and six seconds left. You should uh, give an answer yeah. at least. Torrent. Torrent. And that's right. That's right. You should give it quite early to... <laughs> yeah. Is there, is there any problem? No. Just, that, uh, just to give the answer early enough. Okay, okay, yeah, please uh, give the answers early enough. But this was early enough. Yeah, so <laughs> counts for early enough. For the first round, we have three very good contestants. Please give them a round of applause. <laughs> we will see Nick Farr in the... We will see Nick Farr in the final round again to find out whether he is capable of winning against the other winners of the other rounds. And then we will ski see Skyty and Bobson on the next Congress, hopefully. So we will have another two rounds now, and then we will have the final round, this, the fourth. OK, perfect. Thank you. So who wants to be participant within the next round? Was, OK, that was a hand. So you can come. First come, first serve. Anyone over here who wants to join? You should give the, like, maybe you stand up and do a little dance, so it's easier to see. So I take one too. Maybe you come the next round or so? You? No, yeah. the next round. No, please. You cannot take. I got one too. You got one? Yeah. Then maybe he's doing the, yeah, come up. Perfect. OK. There will be more rounds, so don't worry. Hi. So, yeah. So I would say we start right away. What's your name, please? My name is Spiros. Spiros, I think you will have to Duracell. help him again to spell that. Duracell. No, wait, wait. Okay. Hey, Duracell, you are, you are uh, regularly Sorry. participating in games, is it right? Yeah. Yeah, okay, he's a regular. Okay, addicted. <laughs> like the batteries? Did you ever participate in Panda News Quiz Show? Uh, yes. Did you win? No, it's not me. It's no. Not okay. I never win anything. Okay, perfect. Sorry, is that right? Uh, yeah. Perfect. So, Duracell, and uh, where are you from, actually? What? Where are you from? Uh, Munich. All right, nice place. And it's not my first Congress. I was not going to ask that. MTU. So unfortunately, it doesn't matter whether I come over here because I cannot whisper to him. Yeah, then. <laughs> but, exactly. but maybe we're a little but bit. But don't come too close because. Maybe oh, we have to to hurry. We have I don't to know. rush a little. All right. Yeah, then. 
and spam. OK, then what's the, the second name? Oh, OK, everything is entered. Was Doris, it your first uh, Congress? MTU. Yes, no, yes, no. OK. And spam. I don't know whether we have to hurry a little bit. Do we have All to right. hurry or do we have to keep the, the, the speed? Speed up. OK, perfect. So let me start with the first question that might sound similar. Or, uh, what? It's still. But it's still different. Yeah, it's same, still about those different. drones that we had also in the first round. So first question, please. The first question is, what was the main purpose of the virus, the virus. that infected those drones in September 2011? Was it uh, pro to program new false targets? to initiate the self-destruction mechanism, to send military secrets to, uh, the creator. to its creator, or to look for Facebook game accounts. And Spam already pushed the button. Uh, that's that's you. Yeah. I would like to use uh, some help from the audience. OK, which one? Which, one? which help the, do you use? The pictures, the one with the pictures. The picture joker, of course. Okay, the that's the joker. best help you can offer. Guys, help. Don't just spam. <laughs> <laughs> help him. <laughs> yeah, that looks helpful. <laughs> Kim Jong Il, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you got half a minute so left. So I'm gonna think I'm gonna choose send military secrets to its creator. <laughs> what do you choose? Uh, the, down on the left, send military secrets to its creator. OK, you think the virus should send the military so secret to its creator. its creator? Yeah, so something on the pictures. OK. Well, I wouldn't count so much on the pictures. Oh, you're joking, right? Unfortunately, not. Yeah, actually, I was looking for Facebook accounts. Sorry. Now a question that you might know very well. Oh, I'm doomed. Ah, OK. <laughs> Am I allowed to swear? <laughs> what? Am I allowed to swear? <laughs> Sorry? Sorry, what, what? Am I allowed to swear? I'm just joking. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can swear it's, as it's, much as you want to. Uh, it's Greek, yeah. Greek humor, J you know? Just use the microphone so everyone can yeah. participate. And also, this time, oh, we, yeah. we gave the, the points by random. So that was a quite expensive question, maybe. I don't know. Let's I see. don't remember the range. Me neither. Okay, so. next question. Is something that you might know very well? How many female porn stars? Um, I think I take the um, ISC Joker. Okay, I read the question. How many female porn stars have their own Wikipedia article? Is it 448, 58, 1017, or 623? Please join. <laughs> And actually, it's raising. So when we first wrote down this question uh, and looked it up later on, right before the show, uh, we had to increase, increase this number quite a bit <laughs> for in about one month. So you could give the answer, please. So there, is a, there is a porn topic and no penises. What the fuck? <laughs> Keep on spamming, guys. Keep on spamming. So uh, I, I also take the uh, Wikipedia Joker. The Wikipedia Joker. That helps a lot. Yeah. So the only two valid answers that are left is 2017. Uh, I, I say uh, 623 because of the 23. <laughs> 623 because of the 23. Is it the final answer? Uh, yeah. Yes, OK. Oh. So. Obviously, it's more. Welcome to the club. There, see, 1,017 it is. Did, did you read of all of them? Yesterday. No, I created all of them. Oh, OK. <laughs> <laughs> Just so. a hint, it's the aim is to get as much, as, as many points. As many points as possible. As possible, there is. not as few. Maybe there's an overflow. Yeah. So the next question is, again, about our hometown. Uh, back in, OK, first I read it to you, and then I give little explanations. How many user-related data records, that means name, address, birth date, and so on, did the Saxon state retrieve after it gathered 
over one million cell phone connection records at an anti-Nazi demonstration in February this year in Dresden. Uh -huh. There you see the district of Dresden, where they were gathering uh, those uh, phone records. And out of them, they... I cannot give private answer, sorry. Okay. Yes. The one that uh, removes two answers. Ah, it's the Wikipedia joker that removes two wrong answers. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try the Wikipedia joker. And some IRC. IRC from the public. Do you still have the IRC joker? Yes. Please join him <laughs> in the IRC channel. And one hint, obviously, he does not understand German, so... Okay, I'm, uh, I'm going to count penises and I'm going to say this answer. Ah, okay, uh, 540. 540,000. <laughs> I guess it's your final answer. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so 54, please... 54,000 540,000. Come on, guys, you're killing me. Oh, what a pity. So, with zero points, MTU is still... <laughs> in leading position. <laughs> That's kind of sad, isn't it? <clears throat> do you read news or do you read Facebook? <laughs> so, next thing is a little more IT related. Which company delivers software that could be rebooted by an IPv6 ping? in 2011, using an MPS network, actually. Was it Microsoft? Was it Cisco? Was it NetApp? Or was it Huawei? <laughs> wow. <Why is> Wait. <laughs> I guess that's a pretty difficult question. But you could just hit and then shift to somebody who might not know it. I want to shift the question. Yes. To, to who? The guy with the beard. To MTU. MTU, I, I mean, with this coming. nickname. The disadvantage is that MTU still has his shift joker as well. <laughs> I do, but before I might, no. <laughs> you also can use the gift joker. First, we'll have the IRC joker, and that gives me time to think. <laughs> OK. So please, the IRC joker. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, interesting spelling. Yeah, that gives time to think, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Original answer. Perfect. So do you have a clue? Can you give an answer by the help of the IRC? So I saw about 400 penises and two mentions of Cisco. I guess there's a relation there. And so <laughs> I'm going with Cisco. He's, as your final answer, or do you want to spend your gift joker as well? You still can shift it. <laughs> no, it's my final answer. Okay, final answer. Perfect. <laughs> okay, um, the next question is about another great uh, IT company. Yeah. That tends to lay off their CEOs. So the question is, how much money uh, HP spent in CEO payoffs since 2005, which is six years? $100 million, $80 million, $1 billion, oh. or $500 million. <laughs> OK, um, uh, since I'm uh, the last in the score, I'm going to try and get some luck here. Uh, I would say a billion. You would say a billion. I would suggest to reconsider to, sw to switch something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should. Yeah. So you could. No, I'm not sure, but it's just a game. I mean, you have the, the knit up joker where you have the also help of the audience. Okay. Maybe, please, maybe please you should me. help him because he's in the last position. Help me, I'm last. Yeah. I don't want to be last. Atom. So, I mean, one billion, you know, 
It's more than the... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's helpful. That's, that's very helpful, <laughs> guys. Thank you. Okay, uh, 500... Uh, so you have 180 million, 1 billion or 500 million. Is this my mate flash there, yeah? Final? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, 500 million. Is there a, jump, is there a window somewhere I can jump? <laughs> this picture actually is from some uh, Mexican drug, drug cartel. Something it's they had in their basement. The same amount of money? Huh? Is it the same amount of money? No, no. I think it's more. So, next question. Ah, also, a little, little bit more technical question. Which network protocol? <laughs> was used to demonstrate a proof of concept to control the engines of a in-flight of a Boeing 747 starting from the video entertainment system. So they kind of hacked the, the VLAN there, and <coughs> then they had access to the engine control system. And which protocol did they have to use there? SSH, SSL, Telnet, or a proprietary protocol? And Duracell seems I... to want to use a joker here. I want to use the uh, gift joker. Yeah. Come on, audience. It's about time. And that's how we keep you in the mood, with the gift joker. <laughs> yes. That's what we want to see. Or <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> <laughs> <Can> you? <laughs> ah. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> nice. Very, very, very nice. <laughs> so, uh, I'm... Yes, you have... Doesn't help, but I use uh, Telnet. Telnet, okay. As your final answer? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Actually, in the first place, they were using SSH, but this broke somehow, and they didn't get the budget to fix it, so they were using Telnet. <laughs> and actually, that is something uh, FreeBSD made a nice Christmas present out of, right? Yes. Also broke Telnet, right? Yeah. But yeah. I don't know whether they didn't have enough budget. <laughs> so just uh, a brief summary. Duracell is leading this time. MTU uh, following position and spam. In a great distance close. in the last position. So we have three questions left. Question number seven for this round is, which of the following companies announced via Twitter that they will let the police, uh, that they would tell the police details about London rioters? Was it the cash and carry market by public, uh, publishing video footage, London transport by um, publishing RFID transportation data, RIM by publishing so-called encrypted BlackBerry SMS, or was it Virgin by publishing a list of illegal downloaders? Uh, I'm going to go with uh, Cass and Kerry. Uh, yeah. Did you read about it, or is it just a guess? Uh, not everyone has Blackberries. Uh, RFIDs are, are very... Not everyone has Blackberries. Do we have jokers left? Yes, the most joker. <laughs> no, no, I'm going to go with cash and carry. You, he goes with cash and carry. He still believes in the overflow. OK, please log in. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so Blackberry, uh, yeah, RIM is offering very cheap SMS. They are said to be encrypted, but the encryption key is also stored at Blackberry. At the rim. By the way, Don't we do judge. not use. Oh no, that's uh, another question. Okay, I was come about on. to. Uh, <laughs> so, here's another question here. Um, next thing is a pretty current issue. It's about uh, Russia. How did Russian bloggers try to raise attention to their demonstration against the uh, fraud during the recent elections in Russia? They used a multi million ruble ad campaign. They were. <laughs> bribing the chief of federal TV, <laughs> forming a light chain of trust, or they use drones to get video footage uh, streamed to the internet live. And MTU already pressed and still have the gift joker left. 
Yeah, we'll have the gift joker first, and then I'll do whatever I want to do. Okay, so please use the gift joker. <laughs> 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 oh, my, oh, my. <laughs> my mother is going to see this, this show, and I'm a little bit... <laughs> yeah, it's very clear I want, also want to use the voting joker. Which joker? The voting joker. The voting joker, please. So, nadab.c3d2.de. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, you're really helpful there. <laughs> so, uh, currently, can you scroll up a little? The majority. I'm, I'm going with the second option. Oh, yeah, okay. Actually, actually use they drones. use drones to uh, produce video footage, and you can see a picture. I think it's quite famous was a lot in the news in the last uh, months or weeks, days. Yeah, it's quite current. OK, let's come to the next question of the second round. The last one, actually. Really? Yeah. OK. What, the last question? Oh, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. I think there are two more questions. Yeah, that's right. So also some German-related thing. What is the definition of the measurement unit one UL? <laughs> That's a unit of scales that describes the need of censorship for a certain website. It's the useness of boldness of a politician spreading lies to the public knowingly, the amount of time passing between a random crime that happened and a politician that demands for introduction of data retention laws, or is it the degree of expert knowledge that a politician has when he demands wiretapping of encrypted data? And MT, you already pressed the button. Do you have a suggestion, or do you want to use a joker? Uh, first, I want to see the Morse joker. Sorry, which? The Morse, Morse joker. The Morse joker. Yeah, read carefully. <laughs> you, you have to read the buzzers, right? Yeah. They blink. <laughs> <laughs> and just in case... Is anybody actually able to read the code? Ah, ah. And yeah, you can help out <laughs> if you can read it. Ah, uh, no, I haven't checked an option yet. Let me think. Which one? A, B, C, or D? Please come to, a, to an end. C. C. So the amount of time passing between a random crime and the politician's, de politician's demand for the introduction of data retention laws. Yeah, that's the kind of politicians that we have here in Germany. Very nice. And now we have the final question for this round. Who is MTU in leading position and spam in the unleading position? <laughs> and no funny jokers are left. Uh, so let's take a look at the last let's round. Let's proceed to the last question, yeah. OK, I Good read time. it. Uh, which, which new investigation tool did Henry Kasperson, one of the founding fathers of the Cybercrime Convention, demand during its 10th birthday to improve the work against cybercrime? Did he want to use email bombs, one-day exploits, Cross-site scripting or botnets as police tool? I want to use the NEDAP joker. NEDAP joker? So the police should use email bombs <clears throat> to find the criminals in Germany or in Europe. I think it's in Europe. Can you, can you come to an answer, please? I, I'm not sure. Not yet, OK. <laughs> uh, so I want to try the Morse Joker also. Morse Joker. It's blinking. It's blinking. I mean, I, we have to give feedback if you don't see it. Blinking. Yeah, that was it. OK, stop blinking. 
10 seconds left. So 10 uh, seconds left. Okay, I say uh, email bombs. Email bombs. Okay. Yeah. No, no unfortunately not. So European police should use botnets to find criminal. And as winner of this round, we have MTU. Second place, Duracell. And the third place is Spam. Thank you very much. And very much let's have another it. round. Okay. All right. <laughs> Who wants to be the contestant? Over there, it's Eno. And maybe the guy that is stands just in front of Eno and is taking place. Ich suche auch nach einem, ja? Ja. And one is picked by him. All right, someone from this side. Ah. Ay, ich hab dich vergessen. Sorry. All right, since you got two votes, I would like you to come up to the stage. So. You can feel the price already? Yes. How does it feel? Yeah, it's history in the making. Yeah. Feels good, huh? Yeah. It's heavy. So, please tell the computer your name. Uh, my name is Enno. Sorry. E N N O. Yeah. Any? Do you have any special talks that you want to see on this congress, or did you uh, have any? Yeah, of course. Hacker Jeopardy. Hacker Jeopardy. <laughs> <laughs> What's okay. that actually? I have never heard of that. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> okay, second. Yeah, um, I'm Alex. Tell us, uh, Alex. Okay, do you have any special talk that you want to see on this Congress? Um, I got no normal day ticket, so I just stay here at night <laughs> with a night to pass, so... Okay. No special, yeah, talks to see. <laughs> okay. And the third uh, participant, contestant? Uh, I'm banned from the internet. Sorry? Banned. Banned? And do banned. you have any special talks that you want to see? We have a little bit of audio <laughs> problems. Do you have any special talks that you want to see? Um, no, not really. Not really. Okay. Or is there any talk about ponies? Any talk about what? The ponies. Poets? Ponies? Pones, pones, pones. No ponies, talks yeah. talks about my little well, pony? Okay. I don't know. <laughs> Actually, I was just occupied doing this, this uh, game, so I was not able to look up all the nice talks that are available. No. Okay, so welcome, new round, new gift jokers. <laughs> Please use them wisely. And let's start off. Yeah, you may have figured what the first question always is about. Drones, Drones right. Yeah. You see the pattern. How did the US Air Force Cyber Security Department learn about the virus that infected the drones? Intrusion detection mechanisms, they read the news, the virus caused some system instabilities, or by random during standard maintenance. Uh, and, I and think I use a gift joker. And I know who uses the gift joker. uses the gift joker. Please upload your pictures now. <laughs> yeah, Saxony actually made it here. <laughs> There's one joke that always good, huh? Come on, bring up your gifts. Yeah, I really try to get the combination of all these hints, but um, <laughs> it's really hard. Uh, so uh, I will give the question to Bernd. Bernd, <laughs> you use the shift joker to yeah. shift the, connection, uh, to the question to Bernd. Bernd, do you have a guess? Uh, I think they read it in the news. They read it in the news? Yeah. 
Did you read it in the news that they read it in the news? No, I just guess it. Okay, you guess it. I and you want you want to stick to that answer? I can wait another six minutes, uh, seconds. Sixty seconds. That's right. You can think about it. But you, I, 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 I think I w want to uh, use the penis joker. The penis joker. Which one? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever that is. <laughs> I, I, I guess it's the IRC, right? Okay. Yeah. So, hmm. audience. So everyone asleep here, huh? <coughs> news, news, news. Bernd, Mike, deine Mutter, deine Mutter, deine Mutter, deine Mutter, deine Mutter, deine Mutter. Then there is something, Askyard. So you have 20 seconds left, a little bit more. Bernd, what do you think? I would stick with this answer. Okay, he sticks with that answer. What does the computer brain say? That's right. They learned that from the news. Uh, our beloved drone question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, as we said, the, num <laughs> the points are chosen okay. randomly. So, n next question is bashing Apple. First Apple bashing. So, which app was pulled off the Apple App Store this year after massive protests, online protests actually? <laughs> was it Phone Story, Cure Gay Smuggle Truck, or Quantify Lugari? And there's nobody pushing the button because everybody is... Maybe I can help a little. Phone story is about, you know, pushing little kids in, in uh, Africa to uh, dig for cobalt, and then you have to go to China to hold a net when people jump from the roof. Cure gay is, well, as it says, to cure... The gay disease. So the gay people. Smuggle truck is something to uh, help uh, immigrants from Mexico over the Texan border. And quantify Lugari is some um, game construction set, I think. Okay, so Alex already pushed the button. Yeah, we'd like to have the voting joker, please. The voting joker, the NADAP joker. The audience is involved once again. And it's. Yeah, well, at least it has a tendency. So, yeah, so I think I trust the audience and take uh, Cure Gay. Cure Gay? Yeah. Yeah. So, let's ask the computer. Yeah. Okay, and it was and, pure gay. And here's, here's something, something new. There you see a phone story where you have to kind of motivate those little uh, kids to dig for cobalt. Then you have to catch um, workers jumping from factory th windows. There you have to help those people that tried to kill themselves. Twenty workers committed suicide out of extreme desperation. <laughs> the point is to make us realize the human price. We yeah, pay and here for you our gadgets. Uh, Game was approved by Apple give customers those, those devices. Later. And that's a smuggle truck. They help those Mexicans to uh, flee over <laughs> the, uh, to the, the Texan border. <laughs> Actually, Phone Story is, is, is uh, still available for Android, and uh, yeah, you, you, also you can, can play still it buy it. <laughs> Smuggle Truck uh, got renamed to Snuggle Truck, and is with little teddy bears and stuff. <laughs> and Quantify Lugaro was uh, open sourced. Okay, next question. Uh, it's German politics related again. So, why does the German SPD politician Sebastian Edati want the data retention law <laughs> to catch who sent him a plastic pussy, to catch file sharers, to catch terrorists, or to protect democracy? And Alex knows the answer. Yeah, it's to catch who sent him a plastic pussy. <laughs> Was it you that you know it, this exactly? Pardon? Did you send him the plastic no, pussy? No, I didn't. I just read it on FIFA. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> and you remembered. So let's ask the computer brain. Yeah. Yes. Right answer. So next question is about software patterns. Um, yep. 
What was not patented, at least to our knowledge, uh, this year? Was it the snowman, the snowball, patenting itself, or geo-tracking? I take the NetApp Joker. Anna is taking the NetApp Joker. So, Anna, what do you think? What's your impression? Uh, well, I trust the audience. <laughs> Trusting the audience can be dangerous sometimes. Yeah, well. <laughs> and the question is what was not patented this year? Yeah, it's what not patented this year. Ah, I trust the audience. He trusts the audience and takes <laughs> patenting itself. Oh. So was the snowman <laughs> patenting itself was patented by IBM and geotracking finally was patented by Apple. They had this little scandal earlier this year. Was keeping those information on their on their phones. Okay, next question is about copyright. So we want to know which country did not get its copyright law dictated by the US? And you see a nice XKCD number 14. It's Canada, Spain, Sweden, or Russia. And Alex seems to know the answer. Yeah, I think it's Spain. You think Spain yeah. did not get the copyright law dictated? Again, it's a not question. Not who got it dictated, who got it not dictated by the oh. US. Who got it not no, dictated? No, no, come. He, he is so much US. in advance, he can. OK, OK. Answer, enter in the, the, the answer. Ah, OK. <laughs> Actually, it was Russia and Medvedev. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And actually, Spain Medvedev is, said that uh, this whole copyright thing has to yeah, be Yeah, but Spain is over. one of the countries in the EU where you can download legally everything you want. So, Right, but through the WikiLeaks cable, it came out yeah, okay. that they had kind of an issue there, that the US was hardly lobbying, or was lobbying very hard to, uh, to push them to that. We, we publish all our sources, so our yeah. questions are indoubtable. You can. You can read the links <laughs> to there on, uh, on Twitter, following Penta Radio. And Penta you Radio will, on Twitter, right. You will get the links on our website afterwards. So, but Alex, you're still in lead position. <laughs> and Eno is behind, far behind. So, next question, please. Ah, what vendor or project did not violate the GPL, uh, Open Software License? Okay, first I take the IRC Joker. It's the IRC Joker. So, guys. Was it AVM, you. the Vim project, Gigabyte, or Emacs? So, Anna, what do you think? Yeah, well, <laughs> since penis isn't a valid answer. Um, <laughs> I think uh, obviously it wasn't AVM or Gigabyte. Uh, Emacs sucks, so I uh, think it was Wim. What was the answer? Wim, V I M. Okay. And that's your final decision, or do you want to shift? No, uh, it's my final answer. Final answer. And that was that right. Right. And so this is a little bit advertisement. Tomorrow we have a game, Emacs versus Wim. So you might be interested. We want to see who is the stronger editor, the final to get the final answer. It's also with audio involvement if the net is running. So, next question is: What was the reason for human loss at the Pukekop Music Festival in Belgium? And here you see the destroyed stage. Was it the stormy <laughs> wind, the heavy rain? File sharing or it's, uh, bungling that caused this stage to crash. And Bernd already pushed the button to give the answer. Do you still have um, the gift joker? I want to see the gift joker first. The gift joker. <coughs> you can give your first answer and then. Yeah, I'm sure it's file sharing, but I you want sure to see the gift sure it's file sharing, but first tell your, show your gifts. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> ay, 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 ay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Okay, FEM is spamming, spamming, <coughs> spamming. <laughs> yeah, if we don't have time, we can skip this. Okay, so let's enter this answer, please, as he was sure. Thank you. So who is in lead position? I think it's Alex, <laughs> then Bernd, and still far behind, Enno. Please, Enno, do us the favor and hurry up. OK. Next question. Which of the following CAs did not publish news about security problems yet? Ah, Turk Trust, which is displayed on the picture, but there, was, uh, there were pictures of the other CAs as well. Digi Notar, Corporate Market, Global Science, or Turk Trust? So there is a mistake with the pictures displayed. Anno. Uh, I take the, uh, the Joker, the non morse Joker, the other one. Uh, he's the taking the 50-50 yeah, NetUp Joker. No, it's not yeah, Wikipedia. 50 -50. Yeah, NetUp Joker. Wikipedia Joker, ah, sorry. So it's Diginota or Turk Trust. Oh, now it's a really hard one. Uh, Anno only has the Morse Joker. Oh, yeah, OK. So I take the Morse Joker as well. <laughs> OK, it's blinking, not blinking, blinking, not blinking, blinking, not blinking. blinking. Not Stop blinking, blinking <laughs> anymore. And what's your answer, Anno? Yeah, well, uh, at first I thought it's obvious, but uh, it's about who published it, not who uh, had the problems. Uh, but I, I still go for Turk Trust. You go with? Turk Trust. Turk Trust. Turk Trust, yeah. So answer D. OK, ask the computer bank, please. That was right. So in the next question. For our netizens. What is the new top level domain for the Republic of South Sudan? Is it .su, .rs, .ss, or .rss? Um, and Bernd seems to have a guess. Bernd. I have the voting joker left on, right? Uh, you have uh, made up joker left, right. Use yeah. all the jokers. OK, he uses all the jokers that are left. <laughs> <laughs> the audience in, is in strong favor of RSS. Maybe in South Sudan you want to get your feeds. Yeah. Um, Maybe the people from South Sudan Bernd, have to participate. How do you react yeah. on the on Use this? the Wikipedia Joker. The Wikipedia Joker? <laughs> uh. <laughs> I use SS. Use SS, right? OK. Let's ask the computer. And that is right. Right. <laughs> SS. <laughs> So, which brings us to the last question of this round. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Something about email. What did Google do after it received a secret court order to hand over Jacob Applebaum, who is involved in WikiLeaks and Tor and stuff, emails? They just handed over the data. They did nothing. They fought the order in court, or they denied his account. <coughs> And Anno, what do you think? Yeah. Uh, Anno, you have no load jokers left. I know, I know. I think I pushed the button too early. Um, <laughs> OK. And I'm not sure about this. You can shift. Ah, I, <laughs> joker, man. You can receive 91,744 points for this question. Yes. Um, yeah, I really have to guess. Uh, I think Google never does nothing. Uh, no, I said they never do it. Um, they don't do nothing. Okay. So they handed it over. They fought the order in court. Mm, yeah, yeah. Uh, or they denied yeah, that he has I, I an account. Yeah, I guess they handed it over. Handed it over. They hand over the data. Let's ask the court. 
Utah. <laughs> right. Yeah, and that's actually right. They just sent it over, and we know about this because his ISP, he, the ISP uh, forwarded uh, the court order, and that's how it became public. Okay, so let's see who won this round. And it's, wait, 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 da, 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 it's Edo, huh? So you can, you can stay. The other people, please change to the winners of the other round. Who was the winner of round one? The first round was Nick. Nick, please. Is he still here? Hi, he's not even here anymore, huh? <laughs> well, who was the winner of round two? Ah, MTU, right. Yeah. Do we have a Nick Farr replacement? What happens now? That's, that's the. That's gonna be the final. Well, round yeah. Does anyone have his deck? I can also call him here live on stage, but I have no deck. So, yeah. Okay. No, 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 no. Oh. Ooh. And the number is? You know, what's, what's Nick number? 6425. Mm. Ah, it's locked. Wait. 6425. Ah, Nick Farr, right. 6425. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> Perfect. Hey. <laughs> Kannst du das mal? Ich werf's leider nicht so gerne. Okay. Okay, thank you. So, uh, please enter your names for the new round. <coughs> that still have to be started. Ay, 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 ay. It's getting exciting up here. Who will win this historical bunch of paper? I, I just want to know, how did Eno come from so far behind? Uh, how do you mean? I from so far, behind, so far behind here? Oh, I, I only caught like the first two questions of the last round on the streams. <laughs> Well, he had a lot of luck. <laughs> and maybe, yeah, we wanted you to compete with each yeah, other. Yeah, we have a little problem. The gift joker got jammed, to say it in a friendly way. Uh, okay. That won't be available in this round. So we have NO, MTU, and Nick with four new gift jokers, four new ISC jokers, and four new all the other jokers. <laughs> so let's start the first round. No, that's what I just said. There's no gift joker this round yeah, yeah. anymore. You go. But, but we still got the IRC Joker, right? Yeah. Yes. The IRC Joker's there and all the other Jokers. So, first question. What company is represented by this org chart? Is it Google, Microsoft, Apple, or Oracle? And you can tell who is working for such a huge company by the guys who are laughing at the moment, because only they understand. So, Eno oh, seems to have a guess. I take the IRC joker. The IRC joker. <laughs> <laughs> so, Oracle is quite often mentioned. Microsoft once. Duke? Yeah, I, I think I will trust my mother. Uh, if she's really in the RC, uh, and she said it's Oracle, so I go. F uh, I take Oracle. Oracle. You take Oracle. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, you can uh, see this uh, much bigger when you when you uh, click on the on the answer link on Twitter or later on our web page. Uh, Oracle is also mentioned on the lower right. So they have this big legal department and some engineers over there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 
So as everybody is talking about Fefe here in IRC and also in the uh, gift jokers, we have one actual Fefe question maybe? Or yeah. is it a programming question? It gets back to when uh, on the camp OpenLeaks had their talk where they presented their new interface and stuff. And uh, there it was mentioned, it was written in some programming language. And uh, afterwards, Fefe talked to a German journalist about that. And so the question is, and he seemed. What programming language Fefe is not able to read? Is it C? Is it assembler? Is it meshing code? Or is it Erlang? And you can see an actual uh, Facebook page here. So Fefe somehow said that uh, that's going to be quite tricky to audit this uh, OpenLeaks thing because it's written in this language. Eno, push the button. Uh, I take the GIF joker. Takes the GIF joker. No, that's, sorry. <laughs> that's not available anymore. Oh, I don't have oh, it. Ah. OK, uh, I, I think at the camp he said that it's Erlang. But ah, it's, it's available. It's available. <laughs> ah. Yeah, that, it looks like Erlang. The image really <laughs> looks like it. <laughs> Erlang. It's Erlang. So please ask the computer brain. Yes. <laughs> so this year we had quite a few losses, actually, human losses, and the next question is about who did not die this year. Was it Steve Jobs, Rupert Murdoch, John McCarthy, or Dennis Ritchie? And IRC Joker. Nick with the IRC Joker, as he does not know the answer. Yes, yes. <laughs> it seems that every penis that appears is giving a little energy. To Nick. <laughs> I mean, I almost finished writing the script. I came this close. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm sorry. The answer is Rupert Murdoch. The answer is Rupert Murdoch. So let's enter the answer. Yeah, it's right. But actually, uh, the Sun web page got hacked by Lulzak, I believe, and they announced that he died there. <laughs> So, and from this country where we had those geniuses from, uh, they also have females over there, and they choose their favorite ones. And one of the questions they were asked is, uh, do you believe in that uh, evolution theory should be taught in, in school? So the question here is not, uh, and the question here is, how many of the Miss USA finalists believe actually in evolution theory? when they were asked? Um, out of 51. Out of 51, finally. I'm going to answer the question, but first I forgot what the male sexual organ is called, so I'm going to take the IRC joker. <laughs> <laughs> OK. IRC joker. Right, thanks for that. And my answer is D, eight. Eight. And it's your final answer? Uh, no, actually, it's four, C. <laughs> okay, so good that I ask. I mean, they only had 51. I love you too, Mom. <laughs> Does the, do the other contestants suggest something to him? I really hope it's not eight, but I'm afraid it is. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's only one. And there's a video, you should hear what they say. It's it was never a, a big do we have audio? focal point in our studies. But, you know, every school is different. And if that's something that they think that they need to teach their children, then that's, you know, to each his own. And so I can't argue with that. So well, that's I was the taught geek. evolution in my high school growing up. And I do believe in it. I mean, I'm a huge science geek, so I like to believe in, like, the Big Bang Theory and, you know, the evolution of humans, you know, throughout. <laughs> you know, time.
think that kids need to have a wide variety of things, not just be taught one or the other. I think evolution should be taught, but I also think that maybe the biblical stuff should be taught as well. You know, I think kids need to make their own decisions. We're smarter than ever these days, so, I mean, why not teach everything and let people make their own decisions? I believe that evolution <laughs> should be mentioned in school. The thing is, it's it's all about what you Could someone just give me German citizenship now, be. please? <laughs> <laughs> because growing up in a family you kind of actually you, you learn to live off of those values and morals and if you don't have other options to believe in that's what you're gonna go by for the rest of your life she's, she's the best she's the best I don't know I think that's <laughs> just, I'm not sure I think a lot of people would have an issue if evolution was taught in school I think we should just leave that out of the equation <laughs> yeah, not sure if you oh, could hear that. Good. She was actually calling the government to decide that. So there is a lot of work to do for our American friends regarding education. <laughs> Next question. What mechanism was used in Windows exploits in 2011 with the ISPF face palming? <laughs> Nick, was it... Was a text file, a ping, an HTML tag, or the power button? I'm going to take a wild shot in the dark and say it was the power button. <laughs> OK, that's, that's a smart guess. <laughs> but, Are but you can sure? I, can, I, can I use the audience joker, just in case? Maybe we involve the audience. How? Um, the, the, the vote joker. OK, the, the net up joker, please. So now you are asked. Audience. <laughs> <laughs> who who is using Windows? Who is using Windows in this room? From the other question, One, you knew that two. ping was actually in Cisco. <laughs> <laughs> OK, we have three. Oh. Yeah, I'm pretty sure if I switch my answer to ping, I'm going to regret it. OK, he stays with answer number four, power button. Uh, no, I'm, I'm actually. I'll, why yeah, take time? because technically the power button. Yeah, it's, I'm gonna <laughs> go with ping. I'm sorry. Okay. I, I trust the audience, even though they're gonna lead me astray. Power button. And then the answer. Ping, ping, ping. I'm gonna go with the oh. audience. The you audience go, wants more. You go more? for ping. The audience wants. Okay. Power button. Power button. Final answer. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got you guys, didn't I? <laughs> but it's not, it's, not only, it's not only Microsoft. We also like uh, Apple very much. So next question is regarding Apple yeah. computers. Apple actually helped with the HTML tag thing. That was used the uh, Safari browser in the first place. So next question. What answers Siri when you ask it, can you call me an ambulance? <laughs> It says, no emergency calls. <laughs> From now on, I call you an ambulance. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. I take the NIDAP joker. The NIDAP joker. Who has the brand new iPhone and can check it out? So from now on, I will call you an ambulance. You exceeded your diet plan. And, and I take the Wikipedia joker. <laughs> OK. So diet so, plan or? So I think it's uh, from now on, I'll call you an ambulance. Do we have somebody to prove it? No, no iPhones here. OK. So please. <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, okay. And now we have the only question that has no random point. That's very valuable, isn't it? Yeah, very valuable. So please display the next question. It's about Sony. Who was awarded a Pony Award for the most <laughs> epic fall <laughs> this year? <laughs> 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 
and uh, to, to, uh, yeah. give, give this one. Give, I'm, give this one I'm to not me. really sure about this. Um, so I will take the Morse Joker. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to say. Okay. Yeah, I think using the uh, the shift joker for a really difficult question isn't fair. So. Um, <laughs> you have so 14 seconds left. Roundabout. Yeah, yeah. I should decide now. You can <laughs> Come on, Anu, um, give it to me. Give last me. week, the 50-50 joker cost. Uh, uh, no, I don't have any jokers left except the shift joker. Yeah. Okay. So I think I'll go with Sony. Which one? Um, yes. <laughs> which, which, which Sony? Sony? Yes, uh, <laughs> which, which, which Sony hack? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> okay. All the Sony. <laughs> yeah. I think. Yet last week, this question caused an uh, infinite loop in the 50 50 Joker. <laughs> <laughs> And we tested it. And actually, Sony was the only company uh, who was on the list for this uh, Pony Award. Anyway, next question brings us to something uh, also, well, I'm not sure how to say that. Maybe uh, it would have been more appropriate on the camp. It's about space traveling. Yeah, we had 50 years of, of human space flight this year. Uh, the Chinese did the first rendezvous in, in space. And the question is, what happened when Vladimir Kumarov, uh, on board of Soyuz <coughs> 1, had serious problems in 1967. He was landed by the Houston Control Center. He landed in the Sahara in Africa. He burned up in space. Or he reprogrammed his onboard computer to use a different trajectory. Yeah. And MTU. I'll take the Wikipedia joker. Wikipedia Joker. And they made two wrong answers. Okay, and now I forgot what this penis thing looks like, so we need the gift joker. Gift joker. And it seemed to work. So is anybody still left who actually <laughs> sends? Thank you. It's always the same guy. Okay, I'm pretty sure no one's ever died in space itself, so I'll take D. Okay. Actually, it's, it's wrong. <laughs> there yeah. you see the corpse, and actually, there's. Actually, if you start to uh, to investi investigate in this, uh, it's quite interesting. The uh, you know early space race stories. So there were, for instance, two uh, radio amateurs in Italy, that and they believed they recorded his last words and they rebroadcasted it and stuff. But I think uh, this year there came a book out and the author of the book said uh, that was something else they picked up. Let's continue with the next question. We have Nick in leading position, Anno second, and the third position is MTU. To what degree LibreOffice is compatible to a Microsoft Office documents? <laughs> it can run the same viruses. It can import Microsoft Word now. It has the same plugin API. Or it fucks up the document just as well as the other original product does. And MTU already pushed the button. What's your answer? Uh, I want the NetApp Joker because I know you guys are using Microsoft Office. Okay, guys, please. NetApp. Net There's really only one answer to this question, and that's it. <laughs> so there's a strong favor to answer number two. MT, what's your decision? I'll go with the truth, D. 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 As your final answer? Yep. OK. Do you have jokers left? Yes, two. Uh, so, computer brain, what do you think? Actually, it also might be true we are not strong users of it, 
or of both of his suit, but the news was that uh, the virus is actually written for Microsoft Office, also run on, on LibreOffice <laughs> those days. OK, next question. It's also Microsoft. The minus it's sign is wrong. It's supposed to be a plus. How much money makes Microsoft on patent bribing uh, by of Android manufacturers a year? Is it 1 billion US dollars? Uh, is it 100 million US dollars? 500 million US dollars? Or 50 million? Um, Nick, what, what's what the, do you think? Is, what was the one that eliminates answers? Uh, the Joker that eliminates answers. Do I have that? The Wikipedia Joker? No, uh, you only have to shift. Oh, yes, sorry. No, no, he has a Wikipedia yeah. Joker that eliminates yeah. two wrong answers. It's a Wikipedia Joker. It's 100 million or 500 million US dollars. I mean, it's almost worth nothing huh? at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, for what they have done, actually. I'm going to have no, to. No, I mean by, by the dollar course going down and down. Oh, oh, I still well, have the, the gift Euros joker. OK, I'm going to I'm gonna wait to use that for the next question. Um, I'm going to guess half a billion dollars. Half a billion dollars as your final answer? Ah, he's using the gift joker at the moment. Oh, I was going to save it to give them more time. Christopher Street Day, right? <laughs> yeah, just 100 million just doesn't seem like a, enough. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah I, I think 500, yeah, half a billion is my final answer. Okay, so the answer is final. <laughs> <laughs> and was right. Yeah, was right. <laughs> Perfect. I, I would like to answer a question that doesn't make me ashamed of where I come from. <laughs> yeah, so. <clears throat> Well, I, I will have a look whether it's still possible. Yeah, the next one, he doesn't have to be. Yeah, and the next of. one is. Uh, it's not related to the US, but Spain. Yeah. Also quite freaky, actually. So, how many babies, born babies, were stolen after birth in Spain by doctors, priests, and nuns between the 50s and the 90s? And the news is just that it just came out now. Yeah. It was just revealed. I know. Uh, I take the shift joker and give it to Nick. <laughs> <laughs> so. Hey, hey, Eno, Eno, I, I just want you to know, thank you for those uh, free passes to your museum. I love you. I have a tremendous amount of respect for you. And I'm shifting this one right back to you. <laughs> <laughs> Nick shifts back to Eno. So, Eno, you have no joker left. What's your guess? I mean, you have 80 seconds. Yeah. Some stories also say it started in the Franco dictatorship in Spain. I mean, do you have any and guess, please? Uh, well, yeah, guessing it not, uh, is not easy. Hey, uh, hey, between Eno? the 50s and the 90s. Can you, can you eliminate maybe some answers? Do you think? What? Whatever you do, go for over 9,000. <laughs> <laughs> please come to an answer. I, I have 45 seconds left. Yeah, but, OK, then please tell the, uh, the, the audience how you get, try to get to an answer. Yeah, uh, well. 300, 300,000. And actually, a little side note, uh, they were showing, or oh, they had deep frozen babies. I, they were showing the parents I, then. I think said, something between 30 and 300,000, because 300 and 3,000 is just uh, too few. Maybe, maybe the audience should animate Eno a little bit by shouting Eno. I don't know whether that helps. But uh, I am going for 30,000. 30,000 babies. OK, final answer. Yes. No, no, we. My Actually, God. it was 300,000. <laughs> <laughs> OK, and now we come to the final question of the final round of this year's Which Panda is News about quiz US show. again. Nick Farr, yeah. I knew that you want to win this user-friendly yeah. magazines. So. How many intelligence violations everybody may have committed since 9-11, according to the EFF? 
and they got it by the Freedom of Information Act. 40K, 4 million, 5,000, or not a single one. <laughs> yeah, Nick, you have only the most joker left. Ah, it's Enno, sorry. <laughs> and by intelligence violations, there's things like uh, access protected files without a password and stuff. <laughs> yeah, well, since it's according to uh, the EFF, uh, I think there were none. No. As your final answer? Hey, hey Enno. Th th this is this is against my interest, but that's the wrong fucking answer. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> um, so, so yeah, the he's, answer he's will American, be. So maybe you're one of the FBI guys, and you try to uh, <laughs> influence me. Here. The answer will be worth 28 okay. points. So yeah, okay. it will decide about the winning or losing. Okay, so I take... Four million. Four million. Okay. Four million. <laughs> and please ask the computer. Oh. Oh. 40,000. So, we have, I think, the last question. Yeah! Congratulations, man. Where, where is the photographer? No. Thank you very much. Well done. <laughs> and of course, wait. Yeah. If you if you actually like them, we have a lot of more zigzag mate here for you guys. So maybe for being in the final round, you can take some bottles. And thank you all for participating in this game. I hope we see us next year in the new round uh, or in a few new rounds of Panther News Quiz Show. Yeah, there was a whole crew uh, involved creating this game. It's actually a lot of work. 